Hello folks, come on in the shop, make yourself comfortable. I'm Dean with Dean's Woodworking, and we're going to talk about sanding and sanding tips tonight. Now nobody likes sanding, so we want to make the job as easy as we can possibly make it. And when we first start off as wood turners, we all get these little two inch sanding discs. We get the little mandrel, it has foam on it and Velcro so we can put the sanding pads back and forth and change them out. And as long as you're working with smaller things, these are awesome. And I wouldn't give them up for anything because a lot of times when I'm on that smaller work, that's exactly what I want to use. Eventually, we start doing a little bit bigger work and we go up to a three inch disc. I love these with the little power lock because you put them on there with a half a turn, they're locked in. You're ready to do your sanding. Half a turn, they're off. You can switch to the next grit. You don't wear out your Velcro that way. You have one for each pad. Absolutely awesome. But still, that's only three inch. Just to give you guys some technical data on that, a two inch disc is 3.142 square inches of sandpaper. If we go up to a three inch disc, that's 7.069 square inches of sandpaper. Now you stop and think, that's not very much sandpaper. And we're asking it to do a lot as these bowls are rotating around and the power sanders rotating around. It doesn't take long to go through the sandpaper. For the bigger bowls, I have switched over to the five inch mandrels. You go, okay, well, where do you get those at? Well, believe it or not, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, they all carry these. And you're going, well, wait a minute. I've never seen those at those box stores. Let me show you what to look for. This particular one's from Home Depot. It's a Diablo. It comes with the stick fast sanding paper, which means you can take and have peel and stick paper. That's not a very good answer for wood turners. We're going to go through sandpaper way too fast to use the stick fast sandpaper. That's a lot of peeling and sticking. However, if you buy the sand net sanding paper, in each package of this, there's one of these. And what is that? It is Velcro. So it has the hook and loop on one side, the cloth on the other side. So your sand net sandpaper sticks right to that hook and loop. You take your pad and you take this. And I, by the way, I advise that you do put sandpaper on the piece you're getting ready to put together just so you don't put, do the wrong side. Put spray adhesive, something like a 3M77. Spray this side, spray that side, wait a few minutes, put them together, and now you have a mandrel that you can use Velcro back sandpaper on. And instead of having a little two inch disc, let's just look at this bowl. Two inch disc. You see how much area I'm affecting. Even with the three inch, that's a lot of bowl there. Let's go to the five inch. I've got a lot more paper hitting that bowl. So with the different sizes, with a two inch, you're at about three square inches. With a three inch disc, you're at about seven square inches. With a five inch disc, you're almost 20 square inches. You've got a lot more sandpaper to work with. It doesn't get as hot. It lasts longer. It's easier to work with on the bigger bowls. Now, obviously you can't use that on the smaller ones, but for these bigger bowls and the bigger things that you're doing, I highly recommend go get you a disc, buy the five inch packages of sand net, assemble it, and you have a nice mandrel that gives you a lot of square inches of sandpaper, will last you a lot longer. It'll make your job sanding so much easier, folks. I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy turning.